when you don't pay. That's 800-215-1234. Zorin at Basic Law Group. Call 800-215-1234 or go to elderabuselegalgroup.com. You've got advanced prostate cancer, but you're not waiting around. You want straight talk to facts about a goal fix. Orgovix Religolix 120 milligram prescription tablets is a treatment for adults with advanced prostate cancer. Fact, Orgovix is a different kind of androgen deprivation therapy treatment, a pill, not an injection. Orgovix may cause serious side effects, including a heart condition called QT prolongation. Tell your doctor right away if you feel dizzy, faint, have a racing or pounding heart or chest pain. Orgovix can cause harm to an unborn baby or miscarriage. Use birth control during treatment and for two weeks after Orgovix treatment. The most common side effects include hot flushes, increased blood sugar and blood fat levels, muscle and joint pain, decreased blood hemoglobin levels, increased liver enzymes, tiredness, constipation, and diarrhea. Other side effects include weight gain, decreased sex drive, and erectile function problems. Orgovix may cause infertility. Talk to your doctor if infertility is a concern for you. Go with Orgovix. Ask your doctor. For more facts, visit GoWithTheFacts.com. Time for a look at your traffic. Here's Tim Greenwood. Hey, good morning. Uh, things improve. Southbound on the 110. Yes, it'll be detoured off to the East 10, but East 10 and West 10 to the South 110. Those are now open, according to tipster calls, which is always good news. South on the Hollywood Freeway at Melrose, right there above Heliotrope. Uh, that ongoing bit of right hand guard continues even today. Southbound on the 405 connector to the east. Repair going on. They should just now be picking up the cones between here and 8 and 830. Heavy around LAX Worldway Circle, but easy to get there on Century or on the uh, Sepulveda exits from the 105 uh, or from the 405. So it's easy to get there slow when you get around the circle. South on the 405 at Lakewood, that car fire has cleared. So we'll call that good news as well. Also, 57 South at Orangewood now. Uh, pickup truck with the hood open on the right side. Universal symbol of my car doesn't run. Uh, 5 Freeway Southbound at 1st Street. A traffic hazard. Moving day gone bad. It's a table in lanes. Next traffic report, 825 in the Puente Hill Sunday. 24-hour traffic center. Kind of a cloudy and in some places damp start to the day today. Uh, we will continue to drop to the afternoon, but temperatures are still going to be below average. Oxnard looking at 68, 70 for Camarillo, low 80s in Lancaster, but you go to places like Santa Ana, Orange County, Newport Beach, all looking at low 70s at best. 75 for Ontario, 75 for uh, the folks in San Bernardino as well, while Riverside will be right around 73. With Southern California's most accurate and dependable forecast, I'm CBS2 meteorologist Martina Brown, KNX News 97.1 FM. And right now, 61 degrees in Santa Monica. It's 59 in Thousand Oaks, 63 degrees in Costa Mesa at 817. Well, the Dodgers' uh, hearts broken because uh, they lost to the Padres late last night their hopes of another World Series victory this year. They were leading 3 to nothing heading into the seventh inning of the game in San Diego, and the Dodgers stunned when the Padres suddenly scored five runs when they came up to bat. And with nobody scoring again before the game was over, the final resort, 5-3. to three, That sealed the playoff series win for the Padres and ended the season for the Dodgers. But of course, the losing sports team always say, there's always next year. So that's what the Dodgers are saying today. USC's seventh-ranked football team is undefeated no more after suffering a heartbreaking loss in Utah last night. The place was packed, the noise level was off the charts, and the game was intense. USC jumped off to a 14 to nothing lead and led 28-21 at halftime. But both teams just kept racking up points, and one USC fan said... He shocked you 
because the fans went completely nuts. USC coach Lincoln Riley. Tough, tough way to take a loss. I thought our guys really, really battled tonight. John Baird, KNX News 97 and 1 FM. The 38th Annual AIDS Walk Los Angeles will be held today in West Hollywood. This year's theme is Be All Over It. The walk supports APLA Health and other HIV AIDS service organizations in LA County. The walk will begin at 9 this morning at West Hollywood Park. It's going to head north to Santa Monica Boulevard, east to La Cienega, then reverse direction, and a winding route back to the park. The event was held virtually the past this flu season is expected to be one of the worst in recent memory. The flu kills thousands of people every year. And while we've got a break from the flu because of COVID, experts believe the flu is coming back this year with a vengeance. Dr. Gabrielle Morrow, head of the Glendale Hospital Emergency Department, hopes people will get their flu shots because she expects as will all other hospitals. That's correct. And before we all went inside for COVID, we were seeing every year the flu was killing about 50,000 people. And hospitalizations in the U.S. can get up as high as 700,000. And if you think about that in the context of we're already coping with the COVID pandemic and we're expecting a surge this winter, that's a lot of people hospitalized and that's a lot of death. And a lot of it's preventable, right? Because we've got these great vaccines. Even if they don't prevent a person from getting the flu, they significantly decrease the severity of disease. She has young children and older adults, especially get a flu shot. Bob Brill, Canix News 97.1 FM. Day 20, time for a look at your money. As American employers struggle to get people back in the office, some remote workers are relocating abroad. What people are doing now with their jobs allowing for remote work, they're traveling to other countries. Claire Ballantyne wrote the story for Bloomberg News and she says it has prompted nearly 50 nations ranging from Costa Rica to Croatia to Greece to make it easier to set up shop. So these digital nomad visas essentially allow you to stay and work in a, another country in most cases. And that has countries scrambling to attract these longer term visitors. The benefit for these countries is when they have they send money in those countries and they boost the economy there. So in a lot of cases, they want to attract these people. Airbnb says bookings for long-term stays are the company's fastest growing category. We check your money at 20 and 50 after every hour. I'm Bloomberg's Charlie Pellet from the California Deluxe Windows Money Desk. KNX News 97.1 FM. The voices you trust are on LA's Morning News. It's not just reading the news. It's telling people... The I have kids. I go to school here. I drive around town. I take the bus sometimes. I go to restaurants. And I think about that as I'm gathering news, how that matters to people. Hear Vicki Moore on LA's Morning News. Weekdays on KNX News, 97.1 FM. <laughs> it's happy hour. What do you want from me? <laughs> and now... The top five reasons to visit Morocco. The happy hour is three hours long at Moscato. Get half off beer and wine when you purchase an entree. 2 to 5 p.m. Wednesday through Friday. Number four. Let the games begin giveaway. Get a travel on five-port Dutch oven when you earn 500 points on your rewards card. 17 or 18. Three. The legendary Billy Mission. Live October 30th. Get your tickets now. Number two. Knights of Fortune. on KNX. Well, every Halloween we get the warnings about, uh, you know, the dangers that could be in your kids' Halloween candy. This year, it's about rainbow fentanyl. It comes in bright colors and all shapes and sizes, and officials are worried it could get mixed in with candy that kids get at Halloween. Dr. Luke uh, Palmasano, an emergency physician with Dignity Health California, tells KNX that fentanyl is very dangerous because it's a thousand times more concentrated than morphine or heroin. So, I'm going to here out there to thoroughly inspect any type of candy that they're going to eat if it doesn't look like a normal Butterfinger or 